So first off, I'm going to give you the four basic principles of spiritual warfare. Now, you can write these down or you can get them straight out of the manual. We have a swap manual, but the four basic principles of spiritual warfare are real simple, but you have to have them. So you might want to write them down so you can remember. The first one, the war is won, but there are still battles to fight. Now, that, what does that mean? That means you're fighting from victory, not to get victory. Amen? So now the, the essence is on guard. In other words, you're guarding, you're protecting, you're keeping what ground Jesus gave you. Does that make sense? Now, number two, you have an enemy that must be confronted and defeated. You have an enemy. That's the one thing. A lot of people don't think, well, you know, I don't believe in the devil. There's a whole lot of teaching out there now that there's not even a personal devil. You know, a, a, a real personality is what I mean, uh, called the devil. And some people think, well, you know, it's all in your head. Devils are all in your head. It's not a real devil. It's a, Jesus wasn't going around casting out figments of imagination. Okay? He was casting out devils, and he made it clear there was one devil that was over all the other devils. Okay? And to not believe that is to call Jesus a liar. Just that simple. Now, number three, the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God. And you say, well, yeah, I know that. Yeah, we, we know, but we sometimes forget. Right? See, that's why Luke 10, 19 says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why? Because our weapons that we fight with are mighty through God. They're not mighty through you. They're not mighty, and understand what I mean by through you. I'm, I'm talking about through God. God's power is there to do it. We're going to talk about that today, too. So. But his, his, our weapons, the weapons we use, are God's weapons. We have his armor and his weapons. So we're in pretty good shape. Amen? And so you have these weapons, but these weapons are mighty through God. And if you try to make them mighty through your talent, education, uh, your own strength of some sort, uh, apart from Christ, oh, you're going to get beat bad. Why? Because you're trying to do it in your own strength. And in your own strength, the devil is tougher than you. In your own strength, you understand? Now, in Christ, you're tougher than him. You can withstand, you can resist, all these kind of things we're going to talk about. But you also have to remember, you may be pretty smart, but the devil's been around a long time, and he's learned some things, right? He is, a, he is a, a, an amazing profiler. He will watch you. <clears throat> he will profile you. He'll know what, what buttons to push. He'll know what things to do to get you distracted. He, he has a complete as we would say, dossier on you, right? And he has prepared that thing, and whenever it comes to you, he opens up that file and goes, okay, here's what we got to do. Why? Because he's already tested you, tempted you, pushed your buttons. He knows what works on you. He knows what doesn't. The things that works, he emphasizes. The things that don't, he doesn't throw them away. He comes around later and tries them again just to see if you've changed. And so you're going to see here today, and, I, and listen, I'm not trying to make anybody paranoid. Right? Because Jesus won. And we're in him. And we are more than conquerors. And greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Amen? Amen. So we're, we're fighting from an advantage. Uh, the fourth principle is that the principles of warfare are either being used by you or against you. Right? So if you don't use them, the enemy will use them against you. It's a principle. It works. And if you do not apply it, the enemy will apply it. So pretty much it's whoever gets there first, right? Whoever starts using the principle first. In the Civil War, there was a saying, they said, uh, who wins the battle? Whoever gets there the firstest with the mostest, right? So you, you, want, you want advantage. You want to be on the battlefield before the enemy shows up. And so... Those four principles, the war is won, but there's still battles to fight. You have an enemy that must be confronted and defeated. <clears throat> the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God, so you rely on his strength. And number four, the principles of warfare are being used by you or against you. Now, this is a constant thing, right? And we always say, you know, you're either, you either, you are either 
briefing after a fight, you're in the fight, or you're getting ready for a fight. But either way, there's a fight. 